Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about another important uh, analog circuit design interview question. And uh, this question is asked for uh, engineers at all level, for freshers and even for experienced people. And I think this is very much very common question these days to plot the voltage across the capacitor. Now let me first uh, brief you about the question and then later we can uh, plot the graphs. So what is the question given this graph where there is a constant current I source and uh, there are two capacitors in series each are having equal value. We have to plot the voltage across this cap that is VC2, voltage across this cap that is VC1 and finally VC that is the total voltage from this point to ground okay and uh, yeah this point you can consider it as a reference ground now we have to plot the voltage across the capacitors okay now it seems looks to be a very simple problem and uh, the only change is that this capacitor has an initial charge of 1 volt and because the capacitors are of equal value this looks to be a very simple problem okay now uh, i would like to again uh, make use of the same concept you can give some i would give some 10 seconds to think about the solution and uh, your time starts now okay i hope you all have given a thought about this problem and um, i i actually consider this problem to be a level one question because it is not definitely not so difficult so how to approach this we only have to know what is the i and v relation for a capacitor for a constant current source we know that at any point it will always pump the same current into this capacitors and the voltage across individual capacitors depend upon what is the current flowing now this problem becomes very sim more much more simpler because if you look at this the same current uh, the current entering this capacitor is i and the current entering the other capacitor is also i so i can solve this separately and solve this separately because uh, we know that the current through the capacitor if there is a current into the capacitor the capacitor actually integrates the current okay so the voltage will always be a ramp because integration of a constant current will be a ramp signal so the voltage will be just ramping up so let us uh, because the initial charge across the first capacitor vc1 is zero so it will start from zero volts and go on ramping up so vc1 would be it will start from it will start from zero and it will simply ramp up okay and what will be the slope of this uh, I would leave. I would leave it to the viewers to write the slope for this particular uh, ramp. And how about this capacitor? This capacitor has already it has a charge of one volts. Okay, and because it has a charge of one volt for this capacitor, I need to start from one volt. Let's say this is one volt, and from there that will also start ramping up. Okay. Okay. So as I told you voltage let me write it somewhere here the voltage of a capacitor is equal to the voltage is given by I by C is it not okay so the voltage uh, at every point of time is nothing but the integration of the current so uh, if you look at this for every time it's actually I have to multiply it by T okay so for every time instant it goes on becoming a ramp it goes on rising so what would be the slope of this the slope of this would be simply i by c similarly for this capacitor the slope is same they have the same slope the slope is i by c that's all now what how will you find the total the plot the final value vc which is the sum of this you just add this and you will get the final uh, final curve at this node vc so to do this we have one simple another way to look at this first you can calculate the equivalent capacitance here what is the equivalent capacitance the total capacitance the total capacitance is simply half of this that is c by 2 okay if the total capacitance is c by 2 
okay let me write it somewhere here the equivalent capacitance is c by 2 and what is the current flowing into this equivalent capacitance i okay so what will be the slope the slope will be i divided by c by 2 so the slope will be 2 i by c it is twice the slope so it means the total the voltage over here is having higher slope if i look into this node it is having higher slope and also it has some initial voltage 1 volts so the this voltage here will start from 1 volt and it will have a steeper curve steeper slope that is 2 i by c so this is how you can simply get the plots now another question uh, another addition which can be done in the circuit uh, in the circuit is now what happens if uh, this is this is removed after some time okay if this is, there is a switch and this is removed after some time what is the condition of the circuit you have to draw it so again i am going to give you another only 5 seconds you can think of this and we can discuss it after 5 seconds okay i hope you have given it a thought so what will happen after five uh, after the switch is open after the switch is open none of the capacitor they do not have a path to discharge so they have no option then but to hold the respective voltages so after this point what will happen is they will have to hold that particular voltage hold that particular voltage hold that particular voltage okay now again here uh, what is the exact value here depends upon at what time you are looking at okay at what time this is the time at which the switch is uh, being uh, open so that depends on the timing okay 